Veuillez vous asseoir. I note uh, the international co-prosecutor is on his feet. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm very, very much mindful that we have the witness in court. Um, I Merci noted just, pr just prior to um, us taking the break, uh, Council for Nguyen Chia um, effectively made an application for a uh, a chain of custody to be provided for all of the documents which were uh, supplied by DCCAM. Uh, the par le DC Office of the Co-Prosecutors opposes that application and would like to be heard uh, when time permits. Uh, we, we don't think we need more than two or three minutes at, at, at the most to uh, uh, set out a brief reply. Um, and I understand that uh, Council for the Defence are uh, keen to continue with the examination, so we will do so if and when your Honours consider it appropriate. Part, Thank you. Lorsque la Chambre le jugera opportun. June. You may proceed, says the President. Le Président, je vous en prie, allez-y. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I will be very brief. Merci, Monsieur. Um, Président, je serai très the application bref. effectively uh, seems to proceed on the, on, on the basis of an assumption that there is an obligation to provide a full chain of custody uh, for every evidential item that's proffered in court. Um, this, of course, is not the state of the law, either before this tribunal or more, more broadly at the international level. Uh, I will refer very briefly to uh, relevant case law um, in the two minutes that I will use. Uh, Your Honours, of course, uh, indicated in the judgment in case one dans le cadre um, at paragraphs 41 son, and 42 jugement, that evidence must only satisfy certain conditions of relevance and probative value. Uh, and you de then earlier de also probante, commented um, that uh, all that was required was minimum standards of relevance and reliability. Um, and this was in your Honour's decision. E43 slash which was a 26th of May 2009 decision, and E176, e the 28th of October 2009 decision. Your Honours focused fairly and squarely on the minimum requirements of relevance and reliability. At no point did Your Honours indicate that a chain of custody or an examination of authenticity um, of originals or otherwise was required. Of course, Your Honours are in good company on this point, um, and your decisions are consistent with those of the international tribunals. Uh, I'll refer to only a couple. In the Haji Hasanovic case, and this is case number IT01-47, uh, a decision of the 2nd of August 2004, uh, the trial chamber of the ICTY held that for a document to be admitted as evidence, only prima facie proof of its reliability was sufficient. Um, at an, in an earlier judgment at the ICTY, in the case of Tadic, this was IT 94-1-10, um, another trial chamber commented that a strict approach to evidence which was being proposed by the defence in that case was not appropriate for an international tribunal that is presided over by professional judges. Um, and that was at paragraph 17, paragraph similar reasoning in the case of Delalich, uh, a 1998 decision, 19th of January 1998, case number IT-96-21-T, at paragraph 20, all of these chambers are making it clear that what is required are prima facie relevance and reliability. Uh, any issues as to authenticity ultimately go to weight. On that particular point, Blaschkic, uh, case again before the ICTY, case number IT-95-14, a 30th of January 1998 decision at paragraph 10. Um, and lastly, uh, before I conclude, um, again, an ICTY chamber uh, dealing with issues of chain of custody, uh, specifically in the case of Orich, uh, this is case number IT-03-68-T, a decision of the 30th, or rather judgment, rendered on the 30th of June 2006, where the chamber simply indicates that gaps in the chain of custody are not fatal, provided the evidence as a whole can be demonstrated 
uh, to be what it purports to be. And this is at paragraphs 27 and 28. Uh, in summary, Your Honours, uh, we Bref. oppose the application by Nguyen Chia's Nous opposons team. La demande Our de submission de is uh, Selon evidence nous, as it stands on the case file uh, offers sufficient indicia of relevance and reliability uh, for it to be admitted. Uh, beyond that point, of course, it is for Your Honours to determine what weight can be attached to any individual item. Uh, and certainly there is no requirement under international law or the law of this tribunal uh, for uh, authenticity or chains of custody to be established. And I thank Your Honours. Okay, no, President, I give the floor to the defense of Nguyen-Chi. You may proceed. Thank you. <coughs> thank you, Mr. President. I'll be... Um, even briefer than Je my colleague bref, uh, at the prosecution. I think we discussed the legal um, issues surrounding this, uh, this question last week. I think the positions of both sides are, are very clear, so I'm not going to repeat des that. Des I think Je our submission should be seen much more in the practical light of the uh, witness statements that were delivered by this witness de yesterday and today. Hier aujourd'hui par the le witness, présent témoin. The questioning of the witness was intended to clarify the chain of custody of certain documents and to shed light de on the authenticity et and reliability of documents that come from DC CAM. And it's the position of the defense that this clarity has defense, not been provided in the slightest. And therefore, the defense cannot verify whether the documents that come from DC CAM satisfy the minimum requirements of um, authenticity and reliability. Again, as we have stated last nous week, nous hearing Yuk Cheng might remedy this black Yuk Cheng, hole in our knowledge. It may also not do so, but we only know this after hearing Yuk Cheng. But for now, what we have found out that as far as the defense cas, is concerned, de defense, we are still absolutely unclear as to the provenance and the chain of custody of large chunks de of documents. And de documents. This could have been uh, clarified by the witness yesterday and today, but in the Nunchia's position, it's, témoin, it's our position that this ha has not happened, Nunchia, and it's for that reason that we've asked the witness to uh, see if, or we've asked the trial chamber to order the witness to provide these lists of chains of custody uh, of the documents that are at DC CAM. Whether DC CAM can do so or not, maybe it's just uh, all in their files they just have to uh, search for uh, these items in the computer. Dans les du I have tried to establish during the questioning of the witness, but I have témoin, failed. Maybe uh, your honors will have more luck if you question que les the witness. Plus de I simply, the new chief of the team, simply does témoin, not know if, de new, de if ne sait DC CAM si possesses DC CAM this information with regard to the chain of custody, earlier custodians, where these documents were found, by whom, etc. Again, the new chief of the team, and I think my colleagues in the defense, L'équipe de Nunchia uh, et je pense totally que les autres équipes de défense aussi it's for that reason sont that we would dans l'obscurité complète à ce sujet et c'est pourquoi nous demandons que nous soit présentée une position. telle Thank liste you. par le DCCAM. Voilà la position de la défense. Ah, the president, le Président, Thank you. je vous remercie. <laughs> Next, the would like to hand over to la Chambre va à présent donner la parole à la défense de Yeng Sari. To put questions to this witness, the floor is now yours. La de Yang good afternoon, Mr. President. Bon good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon Madame to everyone in and around the Bonjour. courtroom. Uh, uh, first, let me just briefly say that under national practice, as is normally is the case in other tribunals, such matters are handled outside the presence of a witness. Ces questions sont traitées hors and de la présence I do take témoin. exception. I didn't stand up, I didn't want to je interrupt, conteste. I didn't je want to be discourteous, lever, but I think this puts me in a tactical disadvantage de courtoisie, with a witness of this nature. In the future, the better course would be face à ce to alert the legal officer, officer that a matter which the party wishes to bring a matter to the attention of the court outside the presence de la of the cour That's how it's handled. That's how it's handled. That's how it's handled. 15, 20 minutes de of a legal argument in front of a lawyer who's here to answer questions, who's not answering the questions. Argument and before I start my questioning, Your Honor, I would uh, respectfully request Avant that the witness be refreshed of his memory that he's under oath and that he's here to provide answers il a prêté forthrightly. Serment et qu'il doit donner des réponses directes.
It is our position, Your Honor, Mr. President, that the witness is confabulated, is being less than honest. So we would respect respectfully request that he be informed that he is still under oath and required to answer the questions qu truthfully questions. and fully. Pleinement et véritablement. The President, Le President, the Chamber does not follow what requested by Council for the fact that uh, this witness has already taken an oath. Council la requête may pas proceed nécessaire. Le témoin with a déjà the questions et la based de la on peut poser ces questions their own approach and uh, relevant to the subject uh, at issue. And the council has one question. and a half hour to sur proceed with the questions. Avez... Mr. President, uh, let me begin by re-asking a simple question posed to you. Mr. Carnavas, the question was vous whether at DC Cam there is a particular file on the accused Nunchiel. Could you please answer this question with a yes, a no, oui, a maybe, non, or I don't know? Ou je ne sais pas. Response. We have documents that are compiled. These documents Nous avons have des been documents classified into their respective categories. That is the only response that I can la seule make. Que je peux I vous... understand your answer correctly. There Question. is no file Donc, vous dites il which says Nunchia, Yingsuri, kill some pawn. That is your answer. There is absolutely no file il of such rubric. at DC CAM. À des CCAM sur ces sujets, portant ces noms. Response, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Now, let's talk a little bit about your background. Question. As I understand it, Pardon you were 23 years old when you si compris, vous aviez began working at DC CAM. Is that, à is that correct? Is exact? Response. Réponse. I started work at DCCAM in 1995. En 1995. Question. Quel âge aviez-vous? Uh, Réponse. Response. In 1995, I was... J'avais... Question. Je n'ai pas entendu votre réponse. Quel âge aviez-vous? quand vous avez commencé en 95. I mean, just, just work the math. The date that you were born, 1995, how many vous years went by? Vous êtes né une telle année, 95 ans, euh, 1995. Combien d'années sépare l'année de votre naissance de 1995? Uh, Response. I was Réponse. trying to calculate oui, uh, the date. Uh, I... Uh, how old I was uh, back then. Uh, now it is uh, 2012, Donc, en and I am 40 years old now. Ans. So you can Donc, make this calculation and see how old I was back then in 1995. Indeed, I worked voilà. at DCCAM oui, en in 1995. Let me get it straight then. Question. I'll do the math for you. You're 40 years old now. You work 17 years. If we deduct 17 from 40, we come up with what figure? 23? Is my math correct? Response. Uh, I think... Uh, uh, with your help, I think it is uh, oui, of great assistance, votre, uh, votre aide and beaucoup. indeed, uh, it is uh, effet, correct. All right. Now, you Question. indicated yesterday that you went to uh, 
Notre Dame, I believe, Notre Dame University in the Notre United Dame States, aux where you obtained an LLM. Is that correct? You have received a maîtrise in law, is that Response, uh, yes, I did attend effet, school in the University in, in the United, United States. Did you get a master's Question. degree? Response, yes, I uh, get the master's degree. And did you go to Notre Dame because you received a scholarship? For instance, a Fulbright scholarship? Would that be one of the ways you got there? Response, I was there on scholarship offered to me by the Human Rights uh, Department of uh, that university. All right. And I take it uh, the classes were Question. in English and Et not Khmer. Les cours étaient en anglais, j'imagine, pas en Khmer. Response: Réponse. Yes, it is correct. And so it would be fair to say Question. that Donc, you understand English dire que vous as well as speak it and read it and Et write que it. Vous le lisez, vous le parlez, vous Response, Réponse, yes, oui, it is. Exact. It would be imposed to you Donc, by my colleague uh, for Nunchia, you understood his questions in English when they were being posed to you. They do not. Quand on vous, quand il vous les a posé, pas? Response. Réponse. When listening to questions, I listen to Khmer channel. Because Khmer is my mother tongue, le Khmer and I feel more confident to listen to Khmer than to the English, which is a foreign language. Khmer que l'anglais qui est une langue étrangère. Are you suggesting that you question. didn't hear the questions at all in English? Êtes-vous en train de dire que vous n'avez pas du tout entendu les questions qui vous ont été posées en anglais? Uh, Response: I could. Overhear the English uh, question, but uh, I think uh, Khmer channel already overwritten that déjà, voice. Uh, All right. Now, before donc, coming here today, did you meet with the lawyers question. for DC Cam to prepare you for your examination here in court? Avez-vous rencontré les avocats de DC Cam qui vous ont pour votre interrogatoire aujourd'hui? Response at DC Cam, there is no lawyer. Pas There's no legal advisor. Question. Y a pas de conseiller juridique? Response. So Réponse. far, we have no legal officers at DC Cam, and I have never met them. There, there's no foreign lawyer Question. there working at DC Cam at the moment. Who usually is often quoted. It, in the Cambodia Daily or the Phnom Penh Post. Cité dans le Phnom Penh Post ou le Cambodia Daily. Response. The term lawyer could be anyone like you, like anyone else who uh, is representing their clients in this courtroom. Did you, did you consult with anybody from DC CAM to prepare your testimony yesterday and today? Yes, no, maybe, I can't remember. Response, uh, no, I non. have never consulted with anyone. And did you consult any Question. or review any documents to prepare yourself to testify yesterday and today? Pour votre témoignage ou hier? Réponse. Response, non. no. Did you follow the Question. proceedings just, uh, last week suivi that, les we, de la that semaine were open to the public? Concerning the admissibility of evidence. Sur la caractère recevable des éléments de preuve. Uh, Question. Response. Réponse. No, I was non. on my way to a province. En province. All right. And so I take it also Question. you had no conversations Donc, with, your, with a director of DC CAM concerning what happened here last week sur ce qui passé ici la and your testimony here this week. And I only Et mentioned this because he was in the press commenting about what took place last week. 
Response, uh, could you uh, please uh, vous, s'il vous plaît? refer to any me news article mentioning les that? Articles de journaux Sir, did you question. have a conversation with the director Monsieur, concerning your testimony here today or yesterday? Yes, no, maybe, oui, I can't oui, remember. Non, je ne sais pas. Up me and Tema. Response, no. Réponse, All non. right. Now, earlier today, Question. you were asked about whether anybody from the Office of the Prosecution si uh, came to, to D.C. CAM, whether they consulted with D.C. CAM, and I believe you, you indicated no. Vous avez non. Did I hear you correctly? Bien entendu, vous avez dit non. Response, I already stated uh, that uh, dit, representative from co-prosecutors did not meet des me in person to discuss que je n'ai pas rencontré un personne no, okay. de qui que ce soit. Now I noticed that uh, one of the legal advisors or academic, Question. academic and legal advisors, je sais que un des one of the uh, other, uh, ou, uh, is someone by the name of Steve Heder. Is that correct? Nom de Steve He's one exact. of the advisors for DC Cam. Response. Exact. Response. Yes, it is correct. Oui. Uh, the, his name uh, appears on the Son list of the advisors. Well, I know he's on the list, but you would agree with Question. me that he is, is an advisor. Mais vous êtes Otherwise, the list est Sinon, makes no sense, correct? Aucun sens. Pas? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is exact. correct. Now, I take it Question. you know that at one point in time, Je que Steve vous savez Heder worked for the Office of the Prosecution pour le in preparing the introductory submission et aidé à la du uh, for 002. Were you uh, meeting or had you, did you have any meetings with Mr. Heder during that period when he worked for the Office of the Prosecution? Avec Steve Heder alors qu'il travaillait pour les coprocureurs. Response. I met uh, Mr. Steve Heder when Steve Heder, he came to DC Cam to scan some documents, and he would have been Question. he would have been a representative at the time à of the office of the prosecution. Donc un représentant du bureau des coprocureurs. Response: Réponse. It is correct because he showed to us the order of the co-investigating charges. All right, and. Well, that was my next question. At some point, he switched from the office of the prosecution to work for the co-investigative judges. Il a travailler pour les coprocureurs et a commencé à travailler pour les co-juges d'instruction. Were you aware of that? Le saviez-vous? At first, he was working for the prosecution, drafting the introductory submission, then working for the co-investigative judges to investigate what he had drafted. Were you aware of that? Pour enquêter sur ce quoi il avait rédigé. Le saviez-vous? Mark, you're up. Response: Réponse. Yes. Oui. And when he was working Question. for the office of the co-prosecutors, did you meet with him at that point in time? L'avez-vous rencontré? As a representative. Avez-vous rencontré Steve Adair à titre de représentant? Uh, Response: No. Réponse. Non. All right. And since uh, Question. since he left, well, let me rephrase. I, I just want to make sure I, I'm very clear. So the entire time that Steve Heder worked for the Office of the Co-Investigative Judges, Steve Heder travaillait pour am I correct d'instruction? in understanding that your answer is that you never met him que vous dites ne jamais in that capacity, in his, as a representative of, titre, en tant que of the uh, Office of the Co-Investigative Judges? You never met him. Is that, is that correct? Yes, exactly. Look, uh, so much. Response. Uh, Réponse. Could you please uh, ref uh, repeat the question? Oui, Are you referring to uh, the time when he worked uh, for the OCIJ or the OCPs? The OCIJ. The OCIJ. Response. 
I've indicated I met him, uh, met uh, Steve Heder, when he came Steve to Hedder scan documents at DC Cam. And when he came to scan documents Question. at DC Cam, did you by any chance have any conversations with him? Une conversation avec lui à ce Response. I provided uh, with uh, some. I provided him with some documents, uh, so that, uh, of course, according to the request uh, for him to, to have them scanned. All right, but I take it you didn't have a conversation with him or a discussion, a discussion with him pertaining, pertaining to what was in the documents, the substance of them. Contenait les documents. Response, no discussion. Non. I only uh, gave uh, the Je documents to him and he scanned the documents. All right. Question. Now, going back to your background very briefly Pour before I go into some of the other substantive areas of my questioning, uh, you're not a historian Vous by pas training, correct? De formation, Response, Réponse. yes, it is. Exact. Right. And Question. would you consider yourself a, an analyst? Vous considérez-vous comme un analyste? Réponse. Réponse. I have read a number of documents lu un and have nombre thought de documents. of a uh, those documents. Et pensé à ces documents. And concerning your educational Question. background, as I understand it, Vos it's in law. Response, yes, it is. Can you please describe to us Question. the specific training that you have received la formation that would be relevant in you analyzing a document in determining that the document is indeed authentic. Response. With regard to any training on analyzing document, I say none. All right. Now, I noticed over the last day and a half that you've indicated Question. that DC Cam, and in particular you, uh, have not analyzed documents. Is that correct? particulier n'avait pas procédé à l'analyse de documents. Est-ce exact? Response. Réponse. Yes, it oui, is. Est exact. Now, in order for us to have Question. this dialogue, Donc, pour pouvoir avoir if you could please le explain to us what do you mean by analyze? What's your version analyser? of analyze? Qu'entendez-vous par analyzer? What do you mean by that? Response. Réponse. Personally, I think only after à documents avis, have been analyzed ce qu que les ont été, ont été analysés, uh, whether they are exculpatory or inculpatory de that des de is called uh, analyzed voilà, by ça, its definition. Je, and I take it what you're telling us is they, you don't do that. You don't read it a document to see whether a particular document, document is incriminating, si inculpatory, as you know. Response. Our reading of the document is only to Nous identify to whether they are original documents, si documents, whether originaux, they are copied documents, si copies, whether they are documents that are relevant to the Democratic Kampuchi or the Khmer Rouge si regime. Right. I'm not talking about everybody else. I just want to focus on you. Question. No, mais je ne parle pas de tout so, monde. Je parle de vous. in reading the document, of course, you would agree that some analysis would have to be done to determine whether the document fits within the temporal jurisdiction of the DC, of the DC CAM mandate, la correct? Compétence, enfin, ou du moins la, la, la période dont s'occupe DC CAM. Response. Réponse. It is an assessment Il s'agit d'une évaluation fit uh, the documents within the, that uh, jurisdiction. All right. si le so I now notice that you use a different word, assessment. So am I, 
question. Bon, là, maintenant, vous utilisez un autre terme. Évaluation. Assessment is Donc, different from analysis. Pour vous, évaluation, c'est différent d'une analyse. In your way of thinking, correct? À votre avis. N'est-ce pas? <coughs> Response. Réponse. I think, uh, yes. C'est exact. All right. Now, I notice question. that DC CAM publishes articles j'ai vu que DCCAM Newsletters. publie des articles. Et en fait, comme je comprends, vous aussi avez aussi publié, est-ce que c'est correct Des revues. Et vous avez vous-même publié, n'est-ce pas Réponse. Réponse. I am also the author of the search for the truth je of the DCCAM. Je suis DC aussi l'auteur de You've Searching for the Truth articles. de DCCAM. Question. Je correct. parle ici d'articles. Vous avez publié des articles. N'est-ce pas? Magic. Magic. Response. Réponse. Yes, it oui, c'est exact. And the articles Question. that you've authored have been based in part que vous avez rédigé on documents sont fondés that en you've read. sur des documents que vous avez lus. Correct. N'est-ce pas? Uh, Response. Réponse. Some articles Certains articles are written based on my Understanding. Son, All right. En effet, se fonde sur ma compréhension. When you say understanding, is that mean, does that mean that you read the article, you try to figure, you read the document, document, you try to figure out what's in the document, and then from there you draw a conclusion, a, and, and, conclusion. and afterwards Et après, you put it on paper? Is that what you're telling us? Votre article, c'est ce que vous êtes en train de nous dire aujourd'hui? Response. Réponse. This is how the articles have been written. C'est comme cela. And this is the, uh, the its form as well. All right. Well, let me form. just probe a little bit. Question. Laissez-moi. Uh, Are you relying on secondary sources? Dépendez-vous de sources secondaires? That is, what others have commented on the documents, historians, analysts, and what have you? Or do you go to the original documents, analyze those, synthesize what's in it, and then you write your own analysis? Maybe even look at secondary sources. 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 Uh, response. Réponse. This question is rather broad, uh, and uh, you have Je not referred to any particular articles of article mine. It would be rédigé. better if uh, any particular article would be referred to. Mieux pour vous uh, what part of the question you didn't understand? So I can refra question. reframe the question because question I was talking about your method, Je your approach, méthode, votre approach, as opposed to a particular ar article. En so what part of the question you did not understand that you would want me to repeat for you? Uh, Response. Normally, in writing an article, générale, we base on some article, approaches, a methodology in writing the article, and only if such article is referred to, then I can shed si light on article, how je it is vous written. All right. Very well. Question. Now, you indicated, bon, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't want to put words dit, in your mouth, vous me si je me trompe, je ne veux pas but you indicated, vos propos, mais I believe it was yesterday, that hier, all documents at DC CAM are authentic. Que tous les um, sont I might get it wrong, so, but I, so I want you to tell us, is it your position that all documents bien ce que vous avez dit, at DC CAM are authentic? Vous que tous les documents DC CAM sont was that your testimony? Est-ce votre témoignage d'hier? Response, réponse, yes. Oui, c'est exact. All right. Now, Question. was that an assessment? Notice I use your word. Was that an assessment that mot. you made or an analysis that fait, others have made? Analyse Which of the two? L'un ou l'autre. Matika, réponse. réponse. It is an assessment uh, to see whether the documents uh, are authentic, uh, this part si of the approach that we picked. Cela fait right. de la now you say we, when you say we, that's, is that the collective nous. we of DCCAM, or is that 
ou uh, you un, ou somebody vous, else et quelqu'un d'autre who is the we qui qui est nous ma <coughs> prochaine response Réponse. in compiling documents there are other group of people who join Pour as a group to work on personnes, them euh, All right. en but you're under oath you're question. under oath vous avez prêté and you serment. opposed the question and you gave us this answer so is it fair to say that you juste, donc, as a witness under oath Dire que are here telling us témoin, that all of the documents que vous nous dites are authentic que tous les documents sont authentic, based on your knowledge. Est-ce que vous sachiez? Bah, uh, Response. Réponse. Yes, it is true oui, based on my knowledge. Now, sache. could you please shed with us a little Question. bit uh, the, the methodology that you yourself use la méthodologie que vous avez employée, peut-être avec d'autres personnes, pour en arriver à la conclusion qu'un document authentic. est authentique. Réponse. Documents are collected from the National Archive, Les documents for example, sont recueillis auprès des I nationales, par exemple. have read those documents, lu ces documents. and finally I have requested that the documents be copied from the National Archive so that they can be transferred to DCCAM. Pour pouvoir être right. transférés à DCCAM. Let me go back and question. rephrase my, uh, my question. I'm question. not asking you where you received them. Où vous avez reçu les documents. Unless, unless part of your answer is that if it came, came from the archive, the National Archive, that in and of itself makes the document authentic. Que le document est authentic. Is that your answer? Est-ce votre réponse? Nichika. Response. Uh, I think uh, that was only an example, un example. of uh, how authenticity uh, was uh, conducted uh, nous avons on uh, any pieces of uh, document, document we obtained. Que nous and uh, uh, we, I personally uh, went to the National Archive to collect the documents. Right. Pour faire des documents. Well, before we talk about what question. you did, Avant de and I see we're running close to 4 o'clock, I'll ask my last question, Your Honor, and then we'll pick it up tomorrow. Et nous demain. Can you please describe to us vous plaît, nous what exactly the National Archive did to ensure that the documents that they collected and stored and preserved and cataloged were authentic. authentic. Manasa response. The National Archive is the place where national documents are stored and it is uh, il guided uh, by the sub-decree by the government and it is a uh, expert in institution. Est une One last question. I, I, this needs, deserves a follow-up, uh, Mr. Question, President. I'm not asking whether question. it was founded by national si decree. I understand the concept of a national royal. archive. Je le but I'm asking you specifically, Je vous if you know, and if si you don't, just say, savez, I don't si know. Vous savez pas, vous n'avez dire what efforts? What efforts, if any, did you or DC Cam make to see what were the criteria used by the National Archive in determining authenticity of documents of this period that it preserved? Response. I already often say that uh, with regard to the authenticity of the documents, we normally ask pour les persons who, man, uh, who kept the documents how they were obtained in the first place. Sir, ils ont obtenu we're, st we're talking le about document. the National Archive. I'm Question. not talking Je about persons. Je we'll parle get pas to de that. On en parlera. So work with me. Donc, I'm bien. just talking about the National Je Archives. Did you or anyone nationales. else at DC Camp ever pose the question, 
a déjà what criteria, if any, did they use in determining that a document was authentic? Si document it's either yes, we asked, and this réponse, is what we, they told us, or no, we oui, didn't ask, or maybe, I don't non, know. Demandé, it's one of the three. C est, c est long, long Pick one. Choisissez. Back. I stated that uh, we asked this information concerning the authenticity of the documents. Uh, this question was put to uh, people who keep uh, the documents at the National Archive. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. President, I believe we can pick it up tomorrow. Uh, I'll be asking more specific questions concerning this particular answer. Perhaps he will provide us the details of what he learned. But thank you very much. I see it's 4 o'clock. Plus d'informations sur ce que cette personne a appris. Je vois qu'il est déjà 16 heures. Thank you, counsel, and thank you, witness, Mr. Merci, maître. Merci aux témoins. Darapel. We have noted that uh, you would uh, be here to give testimonies uh, during a period of two days. However, Il était prévu que votre déposition due dure deux to jours. this actual circumstance, we do need Mais you for the whole morning tomorrow. De votre présence so please uh, bear with us matinée. for another morning session. And it is now appropriate time for adjournment. The venu, court will adjourn. Tomorrow's session will be resumed by 9 o'clock. Public and parties to the proceeding, please be informed. Security personnel are now instructed to bring the three accused persons to the detention facility and have them return to the courtroom before 9 a.m. The court is adjourned. Ramener dans le prétoire demain pour 9 heures. L'audience est levée.